so here we are now i would like to ask you a question do you know what is general compound and what is impression compound do you know the difference between them if you don't know i will tell you in a while dental compound is a broader term means impression compound is a type of dental compound and dental compound has many more things included like it has the green stick it also has the impression compound as already told and it also has a tray compound okay so we got to know that dental compound is a broader term and it has three things inside okay so dental compound as we already know it is a rigid impression material or say group of impression materials because it is a broader term and has three right also these are thermoplastic thermoplastic means when you heat them they will become soft and when they are cooled they will become hard so all these materials whether it's green stick impression compound or tray compound they both have these two properties like they are thermoplastic when you heat them all these three they will show flow property means they will become soft but their softness will vary some will have more flow some will have less flow and some will have least flow okay and because of that we use them for different situation like green stick like green stick we use them for border molding because it has better flow property impression compound tray compound has the least flow property so it is just used you know for making the initial impression tray impression upon which you can take a final impression using some other material like zinc oxide eugenol impression paste and then we have the compound okay so now let us see classification of this broader term now this green stick was type 1 okay also called as low fusing okay and impression compound is type 2 also called as medium fusing and tray compound is type 3 here you can see also called as high fusing so let me quickly write the uses of each of these type 1 is used for border molding also it is used for individual tooth impression it is also used to check the undercuts in inlay preparation okay now type 2 medium fusing it is used for making the impression of edentulous arches and then we have the type 3 high fusing it is used for making special trays special trays on which we can take the final impression as already told okay now this was our classification which we have already completed now let us talk about the composition of the dental compound now the waxes the resins these are the major components that make up the composition so natural resins these are 40% and after that we have waxes which is 7% fillers we have a lot amount of filler around 50% filler and then we have the stearic acid which is 3% and these are in traces okay now let us see the uses of each of these components the natural resin it makes the compound thermoplastic so it is the one that will give the properties of what when you heat it it becomes soft when it gets back to lower temperature it becomes hard the wax here it also gives the same property it also produces 
the same property okay thermoplastic now in fillers we have various fillers that we add like the diatomaceous earth soapstone talc so what these fillers do they decrease the flow reduces the adhesiveness adhesiveness of the material also it reduces the thermal contraction also it provides body to the material means they will provide consistency to the material so that you know they can be suitably worked with the fillers will increase the viscosity above mouth temperature because we need it right we need the material to be flowing above the room temperature the fillers also increase the rigidity at room temperature because we obviously need that rigidity should be there at room temperature so that it does not distort so we learned that the fillers decreases the flow the adhesiveness the thermal contraction and the fillers they increase the viscosity and rigidity viscosity above the mouth temperature and rigidity at the room temperature and it also gives body to the compound so that you can work with it okay now stearic acid it acts as a lubricant plasticizer also making the material tougher so it has three functions let me just quickly write it here for you it is a lubricant plasticizer and tough so these three things it does now the inorganic pigments basically they will provide the color brown gray or green so this is for the color and shellac and gutta percha they will improve the plasticity and workability okay okay so this was the composition we learned that the major component or the main component is the resin and waxes both of these makes the impression compound thermoplastic the fillers are added almost 50% and they decrease the flow adhesiveness thermal contraction and increases the viscosity and rigidity stearic acid is a lubricant plasticizer and increases toughness inorganic pigments are for color shellac and gutta percha plasticity and workability they provide okay now let us move on further